today we engage in salah, but a lot of us are guilty of just pecking the ground like a little bird, like a chicken. We just peck the ground a few times and we are out. What did you do, brother? I don't know. You ask people who have reverted to Islam, they'll tell you, I don't understand this prayer because nobody's ever tried to understand the words you are saying. My brothers and sisters, I challenge you and I call upon you very strongly to understand, to make an effort to understand the words you are saying in Salah. Your life will change. Did you hear what I said? Come on, we are living for 30, 40, 50 years. How can I not yet know the words of Salah? That is an embarrassment. I don't know, I'm standing in front of my maker. I know the words in Arabic, but I haven't understood their meanings. And I've been reading Salah for the last 40 years. That is an embarrassment. Can I still call myself a good Muslim? Allahu Akbar. Close your business for one week and go and learn the meanings of Salah. It is far more profitable than whatever you would make for that week. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And this is a challenge. This is why we are not happy. This is why we take a look at the smallest pin prick that we have on our toes and we become depressed because we haven't understood Salah. And Allah says in Surah Baqarah, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salah inna Allah ma'as sabirin. O you who believe, seek assistance through bearing patience and through your prayer. Allah is indeed with those who bear patience. How will we be able to seek assistance through prayer when we don't even know the words we are uttering? We don't know the meanings of what we are saying in Salah. Believe me, I have asked the question to many Muslims. Brother, do you know the meanings of the words you are reading in Salah? And the majority have said no. Allahu Akbar. When are we going to change that? How can the condition of the ummah change when you are so many years old, you have studied your PhD, you have so many degrees, and you are not interested in trying to understand the words that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made incumbent upon you to repeat so many times a day. And we just fulfill salah without knowing what we did. We enter the masjid, we exit it in a spiritual condition lower than when we went in. Because to us, we had our cigarettes in our pockets and we went to the masjid so we can smoke with our friends at the door of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and backbite about the rest of the community. May Allah protect us. That is our visit to the house of Allah nowadays in some instances. Yet you are visiting the house of someone in your locality, a rich person, a famous person, you would want to go to them and present something good to them to say, I've come to your house and you know, I know about you. I know this and I know that and this is your work and this is what you've done and big achievement and so on in order for them to realize how close you are to them. You have understood and read and so much. But when it comes to Allah, we enter his house. Wallahi, we may be doing that. We may even be doing it five times a day. Alhamdulillah. But we have not yet understood why we are going in or why we have come out. Allahu Akbar. May Allah open our doors. The reason I am passionate about this, the solution to the disasters we face today is connected to your prayer, your salah. Ista'inu bi sabri wa salah. Verse number 153 of Surah Baqarah. Allah says, seek assistance through sabr and through salah. And good news to those who bear sabr. Allah is definitely with them. Allah's assistance is with them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always be by their side. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with us at all times. And may he really bless us and shower us with his mercy. And may he make us at least motivated to go out to learn what our salah is all about. When you know the meanings of the words of your salah, you will not want to stop. And you will not want to get your head off the ground. Because now you know I am plugged in with the one whom I'm going to return to. My ultimate aim of existence is to meet him one day. That's all. Allahu Akbar. I want to meet Allah, don't you? And imagine, today we look forward to meeting people. And this is the sad condition of the ummah, where people are looking forward to meeting actresses and actors, and those who have written books, and little Harry Potters and so on. And we would do anything to stand in a queue or to visit a stadium where 
There will be thousands of people there, thousands of people. And we will go four or five hours early to meet a person of this particular world. Allahu Akbar. And yet we don't realize our focus in this world is not supposed to be that. We should be spending much more time, effort, energy and being much more dedicated to the day we meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it easy for us on that day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.